Now we'll take a look at the preferences available to configure how Console Sync operates with Mio Console. Go to the main Mio Console preferences, either by hitting the Command Comma keystroke or by going to the Mio Console menu item and selecting Preferences. First, we'll look at the On Launch preference. This determines what Mio Console does when you first launch it. There are two options here that we're concerned with. The first option that we'll discuss is load the last state without console sync. This essentially turns console sync off, which means that there is no synchronization between Mio console and your interface. Mio console will take whatever state data it has and load that into the interface. This will overwrite any state in the interface. Please note that if you use this option, any state data in the interface will be lost. You will also experience a loss of audio while the interface is momentarily reconfigured by Mio Console. This preference represents the classic Mio Console behavior, since this is how Mio Console operated before Console Sync was introduced. The next option is load the last state with Console Sync. This is the factory default setting. When using Console Sync, when Mio Console is launched, it will look at the state data on the computer as well as the state data contained within the interface. If the two states match, Mio Console will do nothing. If the states do not match, Mio Console will take the action specified in the Console Sync preference, which we'll talk about next. If the states contained in your computer and in your interface do not match, there are three actions that Mio Console can take as set by the Console Sync preference. The first is to ask which state to use. If you select this preference, Mio Console will put up a dialog letting you know that the states do not match and asking you which you would prefer to use. Next, you can specify Use Hardware State. When using the hardware state, the data contained in the interface will always overwrite the data contained on the computer. Finally, you can select Use Console State. With this option, the data contained on the computer will always overwrite the data contained on the interface. Now let's look at some examples of how these preferences change how Mio Console interacts with the hardware. We'll start off with a blank slate. My computer contains no state data whatsoever, and I'm setting Mio Console to load the last state without console sync. Now I'll quit and relaunch Mio Console. And when I connect an interface, you can see that the mixer is still empty. This empty mixer state has been set to the interface, and the interface will not pass audio at this point until you create or load a mixer. Now I'll change the on launch preference to load the last state with console sync, and I'll set console sync to ask which state to use. Now I'm going to quit Mio console turn my interface off and back on so that it loads the factory default, and relaunch Mio Console. Here you can see that Console Sync has loaded the factory default settings into Mio Console, and I'm ready to work. Now I'll disconnect my interface and make a change in Mio Console. And then I'll reconnect my interface. Since I have set the console sync preference to ask, I get a dialog telling me that the state of Mio console and the hardware are different and giving me the option to select which I want to use. Next, I'll tell console sync to use the hardware state. I'll disconnect the interface and make a change in Mio Console. When I plug the interface back in, the state data in the hardware overwrites Mio Console. Now I'll make a change in Mio Console and tell Console Sync to use the console state. Now, when I disconnect the interface and reconnect it, the state data from Mio Console overwrites the state data within the hardware. Console Sync gives you the power to determine how Mio Console and your hardware interact. By using the on-launch preferences 
and the console sync preferences, you can tune your workflow to be whatever you need.